Hey guys, I'm back after a long time. I had recorded a bunch of um, coding interview questions and answers uh, quite a while ago, but I wanted to get back to quote unquote normal uh, DevOps um, interview questions that, are, that can be answered verbally um, because those are actually more important than the coding interviews because coding interview is um, one of many and this is this is this is what you have to pass before you get to coding interview and often there is not a coding interview so this is more important okay so back to my um you, you might remember let me actually make this full screen slide slideshow no view view slideshow so you're you can see this better so you might remember that at one point i had made some uh, research on to going onto LinkedIn, look for all the DevOps jobs that are not senior and look for keywords. And then I sorted them through the topics by, by frequency. So you know what's more important, right? So, and so these are the 15 topics. We're not gonna talk about that today, but we're just to give you context of where I am today, right? So today's topic is number 11, Kubernetes. Uh, obviously this is not as important as cloud, but it, more important than system design. So this is sorted. So you have to, when you're preparing for interview, focus on the top ones first and going down the list. So question today, oh uh, yeah, so that's where we're at. Uh, question today is, can you explain how Kubernetes handles rolling updates and what strategies you should use to ensure downtime is zero during an update? So while you think about that, I'm gonna talk to you about somebody special in my life. Um, I, um, Floyd Spencer is my career counselor. Uh, I have used um, his services uh, a couple times already. He gives a session for an hour for free, one-to-one -one session. If you're in the market, please uh, talk to him. Uh, he's at floydspencer.com. So enough about that. Uh, going back to the answer now. So to give you context of the question, right? Kubernetes is a platform where you're orchestrating your containers. So let's say that very simple setup, let's say you have a web ser server running on a bunch of containers. If you want a new version of the web server, how do you make sure that the downtime is zero? So one of the way is having you know, a, a replica set. So what that means in Kubernetes terms is, if we have a pod that's serving customers, you can say, look, at any point, always have 20 of these available. So you can just say, look, replica set is 20. When you configure your YAML file for those deployments, you can have um, you can have different parameters, max unavailable means you, f you tell um, Kubernetes, hey, never have uh, less than 10 available. So always, if, if, you, if one dies or whatever happens, bring up more containers using, using the same image so that you always have 10, 10 available. You can also do max search. That means at when it sees certain amount of traffic based on CPU usage or other parameters, it, it is allowed to, and to search the number of containers to whatever you set it to be. So you can say, look, normally you have 20, but when you have, when you have a surge, uh, you're allowed to spin up up to 50 containers, right? That way you go up and down as the as the need is goes up and down for your services now how do you ensure zero downtime in this case so first of all you, in your containers setup you should always have a readiness and liveness probes readiness means if a new container is coming up you don't send it traffic until it passes some kind of test liveness means once it has passed that every so many seconds you were testing you're doing a health check against them against all of these containers or pods right in making sure that this doing the job they're supposed to be doing that way some, if something happens to a pod or container it is taken out of rotation it is killed and a new pod is um, is, is created uh, there's another thing called pdbs these are called pod distribution budgets so it maintains a minimum of the number of running pods uh, you can also do blue green deployments and canary releases in kubernetes it is actually a supported natively supported parameter in your deployment criteria right so just like we talked about replica sets uh, there are such a thing uh, also called deployments and you can read more about that in different videos and whatnot but generally the idea for this question is you tell the interviewer that you know 
how to set up a system in Kubernetes where your services are always available, even though you might be doing, doing releases during the day. So I hope you found this useful. If you did, please um, subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you on the next one.